Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you my review of the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealers. And I want to start this off by saying that if you've ever worn a concealer that feels too heavy or a little bit drying, especially under the eyes, or if you almost feel like it draws more attention to what you're trying to cover, this concealer is for you. I've got to say I was pleasantly surprised with how lightweight they are while still providing a good coverage. They're really comfortable to wear, like you can barely even notice that they're on the skin. And I know that some concealers tend to, you can feel like underneath the eyes they're a little bit heavy and it's actually really hydrating. Now what they've done with these new concealers is create five correctors and five concealers. And I actually really appreciate this marketing technique because we all know what it's like to take a concealer home, be so excited to try it out, but then realize like, oh, it's not doing much, it's not covering up what you want it to, and that's because you're technically supposed to use a corrector, and not everybody knows that, number one. Number two, not everybody else wants to take that extra step and do it first. Now, I have the shades R40, R32, which are the correctors, and then Y33, which is the concealer. And I chose my shades online, like I hadn't actually seen them in person yet, so I wasn't really sure what I was getting. I still don't even know if they're like my perfect shades, but I mix and match to make them work for me. And I actually really like the R40 corrector because it's like the perfect peachy tone to get rid of any of the blue tones underneath the eyes. So keep in mind that all of the correctors have a peachy hue to them, and that's to cancel out the blue undertones and then the concealers just work as normal concealers. They're a little bit more yellow toned. Now I'm going to use R40 first, which is that really peachy corrector that I like. And what I like to do is just dab a little bit on first. Hold on, just let me squeeze a little bit. And I make sure not to squeeze too much because these are so pigmented that you do not need a lot of product at all. Then I like to grab a brush and start to work that in. I do not like to use a beauty blender to do this part because I feel like it shears it out too much and yeah I just don't like the consistency with using the beauty blender so I do like to use the brush first really work it in with that and then go in with like my finger the warmth of your finger just really helps to warm the product up and blend it in nicely so now that it's applied you can see the difference between this eye without any product and this eye where it started to cover up all this darkness that you're seeing it didn't completely get rid of it but this is a really thin layer of it and it's helped to brighten it up. It almost just like reflects the light nicely and gives you a really bright look. I'm gonna apply a little bit more and show you what two layers looks like. That's probably a little bit too much, but I like to focus the product, especially around here, because that's where we're seeing most of the darkness. Now once you see that the brush isn't doing much of the work anymore, you just wanna take your finger and start really working that into the skin. Now look at the difference between the two sides. It just canceled out all that darkness and it still looks like you're not wearing product. Now sometimes what I'll tend to do is take a very fine powder and just set this so that this isn't going anywhere. Now I'm going to use the Y33, which again is the concealer, and apply a little bit of the product to this inner part right here. It says that if you really want to see where the darkness is, not that it's hard to find mine, but all you have to do is tilt your head down and look straight into the mirror and you're going to see that darkness. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing and just start dabbing the concealer in. And look at that. Pretty good, right? It still doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't look heavy in my opinion, it's not sinking into all my fine lines, it doesn't look dry, and yeah, I'm going to apply a little bit more just so you can see how much you can really layer it on and it doesn't look cakey. And you can see just how using little product can go a long way with this because I can feather this out, bring it up here, clean up these edges, conceal, blend it into the blush. Now at this point what I'll usually do is bring in that beauty blender but I make sure it's not like super wet at all, like this is almost dry, I've had it out for a while, and just dab it in. And again the reason why I don't use the beauty blender at first is because I find that it shears the product out too much and it moves it around and yeah I just like it as like a finishing tool to make sure it's all blended in. 
And now I'll lightly go back over this again with some powder. And then you have this amazing transformation between both sides. Here you have all this darkness. Here you have like a nice bright and healthy look. I just can't get over how much it covers while still looking very natural and it feels like you have nothing underneath your eyes. And here it is now that both sides are done and set with a powder and I do find that I need to set mine with powder because if I don't, the concealer, the consistency is so thin that if I don't it starts to crease into like all of my fine lines but once it's on there it's good. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that sometimes I will bring my concealers down to give me like that bright uplifted look and what I really appreciate about this concealer is that it doesn't sink into my pores because a lot of concealers do that with me I'm very picky about my concealers but this one doesn't it sits so nicely on the skin much like the ultra HD foundation wears like that's one of my favorite foundations right now I did a review on it it's like my everyday foundation that I look to to give me a very flawless but natural looking face same thing with this concealer. But I will say that it's a medium to full coverage concealer. It's very buildable because of the fact that it's a thinner concealer. It's not thick. It has a very fluid-like consistency. So I would recommend this to anybody because you can wear it more natural looking or more of a full coverage that I have on right now. Now I think I've covered everything except for the price. These go for $32 Canadian, $27 American, and I do want to strongly encourage you that if you are going to try these new concealers, make sure to get the corrector. I know, it's one extra step, but I promise you, you'll like the results a lot better if you use the corrector. So, I hope you guys liked this review. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Let me know what product you'd like to see me review next, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.